Ben can play tomorrow at 6 o'clock at the library in Appalachia. They'll even have refreshments available by donations. Come enjoy the uh, guitar soundscape with the next parliament at the Appalachia Library. Happy with our little face. Alright, this is a Viscount, which is a Viscount branded Toshiba. AM, FM, 6 band, all wave, 16 transistor. Radio. I'm gonna, um, just assess this. I've actually got another one of these as well that doesn't work. This one does. Uh, there doesn't seem to be too many of these around. Um, you can call it rare if you want. It's probably just didn't sell a bunch of them. It's got tone. It's got tone control, which I like. That's your frequency needle, your tuning needle, which works when it feels like it. Um, there's the the title of the radio. AM, FM, all the six band, all the way up to 16, 16 transistors. As far as I can tell, this actually uses all 16 transistors. I didn't see anything in there that looked like it was just being put in there for show. Um, it's got a tuning, fine tuning for the shortwave. It's button actuated. So you see you got... I have no idea what that means. What's the <coughs> AV? Yeah, AM. Shortwave 1, shortwave 2, FM, AFC. Green. What is NAV? Is that navigation? I have no idea. I don't feel this. Anyway, what I like about this radio is um, I like the fact that they used gold uh, on it. In the ivory it's a very attractive radio it's got leather it's encased in leather but it's a wooden case this whole radio is a wooden an actual wooden box if you can believe that um where there's a couple of thin metal chassis in the back that are bolted to the wood with the speakers it's also got dual speakers not stereo but dual speakers um which which both work of course on this one anyway anyway um Here's my second one. That was the first one I bought years ago. And then this one came up for like practically nothing about three or four years ago. It was like $12. So I went ahead and bought it. Um, I actually just bought a third one about a week ago on the, on the uh, auction site, which will not be named. And it wasn't that expensive, but the shipping for it was actually more than the radio cost. And I'm only hoping that he ships it well, because since this is in a wooden case, if it's not shipped properly, you know that this case will get cracked on the one I'm getting. It's not, it, the one I'm, I just bought, he said it doesn't work. He put batteries in it. Um, didn't get anything out of it, but I looked at, he had uh, pretty good shots of the inside and it looked like it was all intact. So it's probably something simple. This one, what's wrong with it? And I'll show you the ear, um, the earphone jack, uh, just basically disintegrated and it was actually working when I put it away about three months ago and now it doesn't work. I get no sound out of it at all. No hissing, no crackling, no nothing. But it's also missing a knob. I have no idea where that went. I think it was probably missing before. Anyway, you can see the similarities between the two. I've got the charts, totally useless. Um, shortwave chart, 
which is glued. Actually, it's clipped in there. It's glued and clipped. <laughs> I'm not sure. Pointless. But um, I'll show you the inside of this. This one had some battery corrosion in it. Um, I'll show you the back of it. All right. I'm outside now. Um, it's a pretty day. It's uh, 60 degrees. So I'm filming this on the back patio, but it's kind of a mess out of here. But this is a model 1660 CS made in Japan, 16 transistor AM FM six band radio. Output 0.95 watts. Well, it puts out pretty good sound when it's working. See, it doesn't say anything about Toshiba on here. It just says distributed by Consolidated SM Corporation. Takes four D-sized batteries. It's got a four by two and three quarter speaker. That's cool. And then there's this. Somebody tried to put a I think that was a speaker extension because it's actually that's tapped into the speaker. But anyway, this is what the inside of it looks like. You can see the leakage. There's the two speakers. Some corrosion in there on the speaker. But this is what I was talking about. That's the headphone jack. I need to do something about that. I'm pretty sure that's why it's not making any noise right now. There's a dial string. Uh, you can see that's not working. I'm going to have to fix that. I hate doing dial strings. When I was using this, when it was working, I was just tuning it by hand. I would reach back there and tune it. I only listen to a couple radio stations anyway, so there's quite a bit of quite a bit of corrosion on there. There's a ferrite antenna. There's the power switch. The two antennas. It looks like it's a monopole. Well, they've actually got those going into the ferrite antenna. It's kind of odd. Anyway, I don't see anything in here that looks like it transistor wise that they added just for show. This is pretty serious. It's going to be difficult. I'm going to have to pull these plates out of here. Well, I can do it, but you can see that it's in a box. It's in a wooden box. Oops, sorry. Which is kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the Vivitar just to play with it because I want to see how it works in the light. Alright, I'm back on the Vivitar. I'm not in full sunlight, I'm in the shade, but you can see this little uh, Vivitar actually works pretty good. It fascinates me, fascinates me quite a bit. Um, it has a card slot that's really easy to access, so I can just pull the card out and upload it. Considering Anyway, that's what the inside of this looks like. Um, when I get the new one, the one I just ordered, I'll probably unbox it and show it to you guys. But I don't see any date codes on here. There's a Toshiba marking on that. The caps aren't branded. 
trying to find something that would indicate a date code on here, but... Your phone jack real fast. I wonder, wonder why is it? It's like a dual plug uh, earphone. That's really weird. I don't know. Never seen one of those. It's got some. Um, maybe it was your directional compass thing. If you wanted to use the map, ah, that was. I guess back in the sixties, you could pick shortwave up a, a lot, <laughs> but it doesn't exist anymore. I don't even try on the shortwave. The two um, antenna caps are on here. I've noticed that this particular model, all the ones I've ever seen, are usually missing the the right hand antenna caps. I don't know why those fall off, but that's pretty much it. Um, I should have the other one in about three or four days, and when I get it, I'll I'll unbox it and we'll go ahead and see if that works. Um, in the meantime, uh, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate all the people that uh, have subscribed. Um, I'm still trying to get the recipe down for these videos, but who knows? All right, uh, talk to you later. Bye.